So uh, 109 is in the books, and now it's, uh, it's your time to shine. Australia is actually a lot closer than uh, people realize. It is, yeah. I'm off to Australia on Thursday, so um, we've already got a team there, and uh, everything's uh, moving in the right direction. All right. <laughs> well, for an event like that, it's your first time in the country. What goes into doing something like that as opposed to the U.K. events where you're established? Well, you know, in the U.K., we've got a team that helps support all roles. There we've got vendors. You know, we've hired companies to help us. So we go out a little bit earlier. We have to meet with them. We have to get things organized. And when it comes to the PR side of things, for sure, we've got a great company down there. But they don't know how we operate. And um, we've got such great media interest that, you know, we're all going down there a little bit early to be able to satisfy the um, demands of the media there. So, um, you know, putting all the logistics aside, you know, physically, you know, the uh, travel is tough. The jet lag is tough, but, you know, there are worse ways to make a living. Yeah. You know, it sounds like for a uh, first-time foray into, you know, a new country, the U.K., you know, it was a little time to get the, the media amped up. Obviously, Germany was a disaster because they, they were just, a lot of people were anti-MMA. It sounds like Australia is actually pretty MMA-friendly. Yeah, everyone keeps congratulating me. They said, congratulations, and we yeah. sold out so fast, and I sheepishly say thank you, but yeah. deep down, it's, you know, the brand is so big there, you know, you could just, you go in with, it's like uh, buying a house that so you just have to bring your toothbrush, you know, <laughs> you just go there, you get the venue, you bring the event, and it's done, so... Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been you know in some ways easy. It's been a little difficult because you know we did have to do the groundwork with the politicians there to educate them, but they were open and receptive. Right. Whereas you mentioned Germany, you know you can't even get a meeting with some of the politicians. So um, yeah, that market's been Australia has been much easier. And, you know, it's actually a card that has some pretty impactful fights. I mean, there's some nice fights on the card. Yeah, you know, I think the the fight obviously that I'm you know interested in is the uh, Bisping fight. You know, I think. Um, I saw Vanderlei this weekend here in Vegas, and uh, he looks great. I think he's just at 200 pounds now, and he looks happy. And um, Bisping's on his way tomorrow to Australia, so he's going to try and get acclimated. It's going to be interesting to see how the um, well, how Bisping acclimates there, because it's a much, it's exactly opposite from the UK. Whereas Vanderlei, it's really only a four-hour time difference or five-hour time difference for him. Kane and Nog, good fight too, especially because it has meaning because. Uh, there's no guarantee that the winner of Carwin and you know Mir comes out completely healthy, and someone's going to fight Lesnar. Yeah, exactly. I think um, you know I got a chance to hang out a little bit with um, both of the fighters, and I think you know they're both looking forward to putting on a good show, and they know what's at stake. And so the you know it's close to Japan. We got a lot of tickets that came outside of the Australia um, market, and so we figure that you know with Nogueira and the Pride history that um, we've getting a lot of people coming from Japan for that. So you, you did all this work to get uh, the U.K. opened up. Upcoming, you've got Abu Dhabi, Australia. You've got Vancouver, Montreal. Yeah. I mean, England's not going to be for a while. Are you getting a reaction from some of the U.K. fans and some of the media? Like, what the hell? You know, we're, we're fired up. We're used to four or five cards a year. Where are the cards? Yeah, um, I'm getting some emails. I, um, you know, our PR guy, Ant, there that you know is certainly fielding some of the questions from the media. It's just one of these things. It's really difficult to be everywhere. Um, we've got a big strategy meeting tomorrow with Lorenzo and Dana uh, to talk about what we can do to get some um, events there. I had a big meeting with ESPN last week about uh, trying to put together some fight nights. They're interested in that. So hopefully we can pull a rabbit out of our hat and get an event there sooner than, you know, fourth quarter. Um, I think we're going to be able to do it, but, you know, we'll see. How's the uh, TV exposure working out? You got a new deal with uh, ESPN UK? Yeah, that one's doing great. They love it. Um, we also have another partner in Five, which is the Terrestrial Network, and then Five USA. So we have three partners there. Uh, the Internet's getting bigger and bigger. Our, our web traffic is great. Uh, every, it's all, everything's positive there, but, you know, I think we need more fights. You know, it's, they're really important for the market, for the media, for the fans, for people to get more appreciation for the events. Are you calling out Dana White for more fights then? Is there, a, is, there a, is there a brewing controversy here? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think that you know we're all motivated by the same things, which is to grow the sport. And uh, you know the way you grow it is by bringing those events to other markets. And so you know in a perfect world we'd be doing an event every weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's not realistic. So we have to pick and choose. And uh, you know we've got a lot of good UK fighters who are going to be in some of the upcoming cards. That keeps the media interested. Yeah. It keeps the fans um, engaged. Uh, and the fans understand it deep down. Mm -hmm. But you know. It's it's okay to you know want more, so yeah. we're going to try and deliver it. I would say that's a good thing when uh, uh, you know a country that maybe wasn't that open to the sport five years ago is now like, <laughs> what the hell's going on? Bring fights back here, right? Yeah, yeah. There are worse places to be, you know, for your fans to want it, for the media to want it, for our television partners to want more. Uh, yeah, we could have a product where nobody wants it, so we're in a pretty good position. Yeah. And the last thing you mentioned it. It's also important, maybe in lieu of the events. 
you get a great bonus because you've got Hardy in a major fight and Paul Daly maybe right on the edge of doing something gigantic. And they're both great with the media because they're gigantic trash talkers. Yeah, it's true. And the um, the British fans get behind them. And they, like you said, the media love it. They're smart, smart guys. And even with the Abu Dhabi event, I think we're talking about trying to put four Brits on that card. Um, you know, we'll run a lot of promotion for that. It's You're not... You're not gonna, there's not going to be a void with UFC not doing events there um, because, like you said, the fighters are so engaging. And, um, you know, we're going to still be marketing there. We're still going to be, you know, talking to the media. The media is already asking for credentials for Abu Dhabi, and they'll be there in March.